i am having an uh, internet uh, internet problem so i will be turning off my video and speaking so let's do the focusing exercise so should we start yeah sit in an upright position with your back straight rest your hands on your uh, thighs and feet flat on the ground slowly close your eyes in case you can't close your eyes then try to look at any uh, one point on the ground observe your breathing observe the temperature of the air when you are breathing in observe the temperature of the air when you are breathing out feel the difference in temperature of air now hear the sounds around you listen to the sounds that are coming from inside your house now try to listen to the sound that is coming uh, from outside your house like uh, vehicles and uh, birds open your eyes now without moving your neck see different colors in front of you relax so we will be doing the story now uh, so i will be narrating it to you minute somebody has so the name of the story is learning to swim gorav was a champion swimmer in fact his ambition was to swim in the olympics one day he uh, completed uh, in all the swimming competitions at his local sports center he used to swim like a duck in water his mom always said and she was like a cat in water she hated it in fact cats would uh, still swim if they had to whereas she never would she often said that her brother had uh, chucked her when they were uh, children and she hated it ever since today mum was talking and taking gorov and his young brother raju to the swimming pool gorov had to practice a session later had a practice session later teach me to swim said raju in the car he was just 5 and had recently started school i want to swim like you 
Gaurav. Gaurav laughed. You, uh, you, ha you have, you are afraid of getting your face wet. You always cry. You have to put your face under uh, under water to swim properly. And you, uh, you say, you want to learn how to swim. I will put my face in, said Raju. But he looked at their mother apprehensively. When they, got, uh, when they got in the pool, the two boys were to put on their tr uh, trunks and their, uh, and their mom went to sit in the uh, spectator's seat. Gaurav really wanted to dive straight into the big pool and carve uh, swiftly through the water with his uh, strong uh, crawls. There weren't many people and the empty lanes looked really, uh, really tempting. Another time, Raju, he said. His brother uh, pouted. Please, Gaurav, I want to swim like you. What if he did, uh, did teach Raju? What if Raju become a better swimmer than him? Reluctantly, he gave in. Okay, Gaurav went to the small pool and slid in off the, uh, off the side. Raju hesitated on the edge. He looked up, uh, up at their mum, then back at the water. Come on, said, uh, said Gaurav, impatiently. Do you want me to teach you or not? Don't force him, called out mum. You might scare him. Gaurav wished he... He said, uh, uh, no, uh, he said no at the beginning. Raju ran to the uh, steps and climbed down the water. It came up to, uh, to his waist. Right, said Gaurav. Hold, hold on to the edge and kick your legs like this. But Raju couldn't get his feet off the bottom. Gaurav sighed. You can't swim without your feet on the bottom, he said. This was a waste of time. He thought of grabbing Raju's leg and lifting them up. He, he heard of people uh, who threw young children into the pool so, uh, so that they had to swim. That's, uh, uh, that way, they learned quickly. I will hold you around the waist, he said. You will be all right. I might sink, wailed Raju. Uh, Gaurav said, uh, Gaurav saw the uh, fe fear in his brother's face and he softened a little. No, you won't. I won't let you sink. Slowly, Raju lifted one foot of the bottom, then the other. Finally, uh, his body floated floated while he held the side of the pool. By the end of the session, he could do it without Gaurav holding him. But then he let go with one hand to wave to mum and his face went un under and he got a mouth full of water and came up, by, uh, up crying. Mum came running down and lifted him out. This is, hope, uh, this is hopeless, thought Gaurav, crying just because he got a mouth full of water. Raju, said Gaurav, don't be uh, such a baby. I sometimes uh, get a mouth full of water too. He got a fright, said mum, smooth, uh, soothingly stroking Raju's wet hair. I got a fright, uh, echoed Raju. I am... I am go going to practice, muttered Gaurav. He was fed up with both of them. He didn't care if Raju uh, never learned to swim. What did it matter? Nevertheless, the next week, he began to teach him again. During the week, he had remem uh, remembered being afraid of himself. If it had been uh, when... He had dived to the bottom to get his locker key. 
which ha uh, which had slipped off his wrist it had been quite shallow but had seemed a long way down and he had almost panicked the water had gurgled uh, gurgled loudly and had stung his eyes eyes and he had wanted to breathe his lungs had been bursting then there was the time he suddenly found himself out of his uh, depth now you have to learn uh, what to do with your arms he said to raju raju started uh, churning his arms round like wild animals slapping the water with open palms no 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 said gorov your hands have to be uh, be paddles and push the water away he coupled uh, he cupped one hand and pushed it uh, through the water raju tried again that's better now i will hold you and you try to swim later they practiced uh, putting their heads under the uh, under water gorov showed raju how to hold his nose until he got used to it and the little boy managed to dunk uh, his head under quick, uh, quickly and uh, come up uh, smiling very good said gorov soon raju could swim on his own for a few strokes and the day uh, he did a whole width uh, gorov felt really proud raju's style wasn't uh, wasn't great but gorov could work on that all his patience had been worth it maybe he he's even he uh, even pursued would mom to, uh, mom to come and have a, a lesson so you got the story my voice was cracking it was cracking in between okay but i understood the story asked divyansh at the divyansh you understood yes sir yes okay so how was you it also understood how was the story so tell what happened in the story so anyone can tell first of all there was a boy who was like um a grand swimmer his name was gorov then he was uh, just like his brother asked him to teach him to swim he he thought that if he would have he would become better than him then he would not uh, like he would become better than him then he would be lower than him and after that they just uh, then then he just uh, taught uh, uh, taught uh, raju how to do this but uh, but then uh, when uh, when he was doing it he was uh, doing it like for the sake of doing it he did not care if they learned or did not learn but later in the story they, they uh, then uh, he was able to learn and he was proud of him the other person okay so they were able to learn in the end so what uh, what is the to uh, like what do you lo learn from the story serious what to be serious okay how serious like how do you learn this uh, to be serious and listen and follow what uh, 
what you have been taught. Okay. So to be serious and uh, follow what uh, like the teacher is telling, right? Yes. Okay. And Ashmit, you? Um, I think the story was about uh, being egoistic or something. And at first, that person was a transition from an egoistic okay. uh, child to the one who helps. Gaurav was egoistic. No, he did not want anybody to get ahead of him. So he was competitive. Okay. And he had the fear of not being able to cope up if anybody got ahead of him. Okay, so he was insecure. Uh, yes. Yeah. Insecure. So, and uh, many other things are also there. Like, uh, what other things you get from the story? You both. To never uh, give up because uh, a doors will open for you. And because at first, uh, uh, people yeah. change, change. Insecure. Okay, people change. You can see, right? Yes. Yes. And other do hard work until you succeed. Uh, what? Did the answer sing? Was sing? Your voice is correct. One minute. My voice, uh, now it's okay. Now, is it okay? Yes, it's, it's fine. Decent. Uh, what? You are saying something? Nothing. Okay, then say something. Yeah. And, uh, Now my voice is okay. 